Summary of the book, Feeling is the Secret, by Neville Goddard. Imagine if you had a magic key that could turn your dreams into reality, a key capable of completely changing your life and helping you achieve everything you desire. This magic key actually exists, but the secret lies in something intangible, something we all possess, yet are unaware of its true power, feeling. In feeling is the secret. Neville Goddard reveals to us that what we experience in our lives is not a result of the circumstances around us, but rather a reflection of our deep emotions and inner beliefs. If you think that thoughts alone are enough to achieve success, Goddard takes us on a journey into the depths of the human psyche, where we discover that feeling is the true power behind achieving the impossible. Are you ready to learn the secret that can change your life? Then embark with us on this exciting journey and discover how you can control your feelings to create a reality you never imagined before. In this chapter, Neville explains the difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is the thinking mind that manages our daily decisions, while the subconscious mind is the one that stores deep beliefs and thoughts. The two minds work together harmoniously, with the subconscious mind being the driving force that attracts things into our lives based on the feelings and thoughts we nurture. Analytical and logical thinking represents the part responsible for making daily decisions. It sets goals and desires and has the ability to discern and choose. Goddard describes the conscious mind as the gateway through which thoughts pass into the unconscious mind. This means that the thoughts you adopt about yourself and the world first go through the conscious mind, while the unconscious mind is the center of emotions and deep beliefs. It receives ideas from the conscious mind and transforms them into life experiences. Goddard likens the unconscious mind to the ground where the seeds of thoughts and feelings are planted. If you plant good seeds, you will reap good results, and vice versa. We must always remember that the unconscious mind does not distinguish between what is real and what is imagined. It is significantly influenced by the emotions accompanying thoughts. The author clarifies the relationship between the two minds as follows. The conscious mind is responsible for feeding the unconscious mind with thoughts and feelings. When a person thinks about something repeatedly and with strong emotion, this idea is sent to the unconscious mind to become part of its programming. The unconscious mind is what manifests the stored ideas in the form of circumstances and events in reality. For this reason, it is essential that the thoughts and feelings we feed the unconscious mind are positive and constructive. The author discusses how to use this power by directing the conscious mind to choose positive thoughts and focus on what we want to achieve instead of what we fear. More importantly, it involves using imagination and strong feelings to achieve the goal, where the goal is continuously imagined as if it has already been achieved, immersing oneself in the feelings associated with that achievement. So how do we plant ideas in this subconscious mind? Here comes the role of feeling. According to Goddard, the subconscious mind does not distinguish between reality and imagination and it is greatly influenced by the feelings associated with thoughts. In other words, it is not enough to just think about your goal. You must feel as if that goal has already been achieved. For example, if you want to achieve success, it is not enough to repeat the phrase, I am successful. You must live the feelings of success, joy, satisfaction and confidence that come with achieving that success. Chapter 2 Sleep Sleep as a Programming Tool Sleep is considered the ideal time to program the subconscious mind. Before sleep, the conscious mind is in a state of relaxation, while the subconscious mind is at its peak activity, making it more receptive to ideas and feelings. Goddard considers sleep to be the golden gateway to accessing the subconscious mind, therefore the emotional state we enter sleep with should be a positive one that aligns with our desires and goals. The author presents a technique for sleep before bedtime. Goddard recommends thinking about the desire or goal we want to achieve. Then imagine this goal as if it has already been achieved, asking the person to live the feelings associated with achieving the goal, whether it is the feeling of happiness, gratitude, 
or satisfaction. These feelings are sent to the subconscious mind, which in turn works to manifest them in reality. This process should be repeated every night until it becomes a habit and the subconscious mind is fully programmed with this feeling. Repetition and consistency are the keys to turning the feeling into a part of the subconscious mind, leading to the gradual achievement of the goal. Before you fall asleep, try to visualize your goal as if it has already been achieved. Let this image completely immerse your mind and feel all the positive emotions associated with this accomplishment. Feel happiness, gratitude and confidence. Repeat this process every night and you will notice how your subconscious mind begins to attract the circumstances that bring this feeling into your real life. Chapter 3. The power of feeling feeling, according to Godard, is the foundation upon which everything is built. If we have a strong and positive feeling towards a specific goal, we attract the circumstances that achieve this goal. Feeling is not just thinking about something, it is the deep sensation that this thing has already been achieved. We must feel fulfillment, joy and gratitude as if the goal has become a reality. When visualizing the goal, we must live the emotional state associated with achieving it. If we want, for example, to obtain a specific job, we must feel as if we have already achieved it. Feeling the joy and confidence that accompany that feeling of fulfillment sends a strong message to the subconscious mind, which begins to attract circumstances that support this feeling. We need to regularly repeat the feeling of fulfillment with a strong belief that what we want will be realized. Repetition is where the feeling is anchored in the subconscious mind. Belief is also important, as it is not enough to repeat the feeling without a deep faith in achieving the goal. We must believe that the subconscious mind is capable of achieving anything we desire. Here are practical steps to apply this philosophy in your life. Clearly define your goal, write down what you want to achieve, but instead of focusing solely on the desire, focus on the feeling you will have when you achieve it. Imagine this feeling every night before sleep. Close your eyes and picture yourself having achieved your goal. Feel the joy, satisfaction and reassurance. Repeat this every night until it becomes part of your subconscious programming. Pray to God with gratitude when you ask Him for what you want. Ask with a state of gratitude. Feel and be certain that God will indeed fulfill your request and focus on thanking God for this fulfillment. Stay away from doubts. Doubts and fears are the number one enemy to achieving goals. Whenever you feel doubt, remember the feeling of fulfillment to return to it immediately. The summary. The subconscious mind is the servant of the conscious mind. The subconscious is influenced by thoughts and feelings, and it attracts the experiences we live based on its internal programming. Feeling is the secret. What we truly feel will manifest in our lives. The feeling of fulfillment and belief that the goal has already been achieved is what creates the new reality. Sleep as a tool for programming. The moments before sleep are the most important for programming the subconscious mind because it is the period when the subconscious is most receptive to thoughts and feelings. Feeling is the secret. It is not just a book but a practical guide on how to use the power of your mind and feelings to achieve a better life. Start applying this philosophy now, and you will see how your life can change in ways you never expected. Thank you for listening. If you like this summary, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the new updates.